The two top gubernatorial candidates went at it tonight at a forum sponsored by the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. Hawaiian issues were of primary importance, but also civil unions and going after each other's records. KITV4's Demby Fawcett has the story. The OHA forum kicked off asking what the two candidates would do to advance the stalled Akaka bill. I think we're in a position to once again be able to go to the, uh, the Congress, perhaps before this session of Congress ends, uh, a post-election period, and I think we have an excellent chance to do that. I will continue to do what, I, what I've done in the past, and that is to be an advocate for this bill and to help move it forward. Questions then focused on general issues, including the civil unions bill, a bill Iona rejects, calling it identical to same-sex marriage. To put this to bed so that we can let the people decide this, I will propose a constitutional amendment that will state marriage is defined between a, marriage, between a man and a woman, and we'll let the people decide that. They'll vote either yes or no. Senator Inouye and I agree. When you have civil rights, you stay with civil rights. Marriage is already defined in this state, and it will not come up again. At the end, they were allowed to ask each other questions. Specifically, how would you make up the cost of furloughs for public employees? We're going to go after all those federal dollars. If you think, uh, if the lieutenant governor thinks that he has found all the federal dollars, by no means has he at all. I can't believe you said this, but are you telling me that for 20 years you've been in Congress and you haven't revealed to us where all the federal money is, Mr. Abercrombie? The loud applause that you heard in the OHA debate has become a new feature in a lot of political debates. They've become more like spectator sports. KITV will be having its own debates and guaranteed no distracting loud applause. Iona and Abercrombie face our questions October 22nd. Paula.